Hey y'all, happy Mardi Gras. It is Fat Tuesday, at least where I'm at, and uh, we're not going to be doing any parades or anything like that this year. We got hit with a sudden cold spell down south. I know Texas is getting hit real hard, and my heart goes out to y'all. Louisiana is hit not as hard, and I'm in Louisiana, but it's, ooh, it's cold outside. Just ran out to get some groceries, and uh, I hope it's not as cold as it was last night. Hey, Kayla! Um, but it's definitely a cold one today. So I'm kind of recovering from a migraine, not feeling super upbeat. So I'm hoping today's chill stream truly is chill. And uh, I am hoping to make some progress. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm hoping to make some progress on this pink cat needle felting project that I started a while back and had to put aside and hopefully we can make some progress on it today. Um, I'm sure I won't finish it, but it'll be nice to get some done. And here it is so far looking kind of like a Persian, a very fuzzy Persian. So I've got, I think, pretty much everything I need. There's one more thing I want to grab. And that is the multi-punch tool I was letting mom and my aunt use. And I'm also just going to rearrange the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because you can't really see it right now. So I've got my supplies all handy. I've got my instructions all handy because this is something I'm kind of new to. I'm warm my hands up a bit. And a sec, I'll fix the camera. It wants to be all droopy on me. An older tripod. Okay, so I'm at the point where I add a thin layer of light yellow wool. So I guess they mean this. And poke, uh, tearing it into pieces, add a thin layer above the head and poke it shallowly with a short needle until it firms. I kind of wanted to try and make this cat look like a cat. I had who passed away a couple years ago from mouth cancer so I'm gonna try to put a lot of orange if I can it's all kind of tangled on itself but it being so cold out it's a nice day for a little bit of needle felton And I hope you guys have been able to stay nice and warm. Some of my online friends have lost or are talking about having lost power. I hope they are able to get their electricity back soon because it's pretty cold to not have electricity. It's kind of a shame, you know, when the politicians who are supposed to be looking out for you supposedly live in houses in different districts and they're not having power outages so they aren't really incentivized to get that power back on. They're just like, oh, you can wait. I know they're talking about it being rolling power outages, but that some people 
once it went off it never went back on so I guess that's not really rolling and it's hard to see people you care about suffering like that because I have several friends who are in Texas and I have family in Texas But here at least, we're warm and cozy. We were able to go get groceries. You can hear my cuckoo clock chiming in the background. Okay, then I wanna do a little bit of orange going across her cheeks. should be wearing the finger cots. I'm not exactly exhibiting careful behavior. Now it's cold, but it's not too cold for my neighbor to let her little yippy dog run around. This little dog loves to stand outside the window when I'm doing streams and bark at me to tell me that I'm bothering her. See, I don't like these because it makes it hard. <laughs> well, welcome. I'm glad you subscribed. I hope you enjoy the stuff that I share here. Normally I do live streams on Mondays where it's just like different arts and crafts kits. Today's been kind of a low energy, not feeling great kind of day. So doing some relaxing needle craft or needle felting and just kind of hanging out with you guys it in a bad way to spend some of the afternoon. some on one cheek. And I'm just following along, kind of, sort of, with a kit I got on Amazon. I've always wanted to try needle felting, but felt kind of intimidated because I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes it's hard to tell what you need to do the thing and what's just nice to have. Okay, 
Now I'm going to try and get some of this more tightly packed. Kind of looks like an owl, doesn't it? Little owl face. But it's a cat. Or it will be. Oh, Bowie. He always wants to act up. I'm sure those of you guys with pets, especially cats, probably know about Anytime you're on the phone, anytime you're in the bathroom, anytime you're in the bathtub, or if you're streaming something, that's when your pets decide it's time to get into stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of the darker orange now. Remy was a little Cheeto cat. She was orange and darker orange. I could probably switch the camera around. So y'all can see kind of from my point of view, if that would be more enjoyable for y'all. Though it makes it harder to see the chat. I was so ambitious when I bought these needle kits because I thought I would be faster at it than I am, which is ridiculous because I sew and I know how long that takes. I was overly optimistic, big eye, big eye. That's okay. It gives me something to kind of play around with. A different type of creativity. All right, let me switch the camera for y'all. It'll take a second because I gotta make sure. Come on, there we go. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, it's not gonna wanna. Okay. Sorry, trying to get it to focus. There we go. All right. Not the best, not the worst. We can do this for a little while. <sighs> now for these craft streams, I'm mostly just recording them from my phone. So it's not as easy for me to have music going and stuff. I mean, yes, I could play music on the TV, but it might be so distorted that it might be unpleasant to listen to. Hmm. I'm going to move the camera in a bit. This is not, I'm sure this is not like the best angle to view i don't know you can see better than i can is this a decent viewing angle for y'all just gonna tuck that in there oh you can kind of hear the church bells really faintly in the distance Hmm? 
The more, the deeper you go, the more I'm just trying to attach it. The deeper you go, the more you compress the fiber. So if you already have a head shape you kind of like, if you go too deep, you can end up messing up the head shape. And I thought so hard, <laughs> even though it looks more like a pug, like a, not a pug, a Persian. Black Orc says he's fine with the angle, but whatever, or uh, they are fine with the angle, uh, but do whatever you use for you. This is fine so far. And Vernon says, yeah, it looks good. All right. Thank you for the feedback. Can you see that work is new? I, they're the one who mentioned being a recent subscriber? Yeah. Yes. Did the eyes come with the kit? They did, yeah. Because I would have just done buttons or something. trying to trim some of that extra orange. I think later we're putting like a little pink nose. I think this kit greatly overestimates my ability, but that's okay. I'm going to try to live up to it. That is the wrong tool. And just think we have the body and the hands and the hat. <laughs> we, this is this is a long. It's a small project, but it's a long project. Work on a craft project. Oh, gee. When I was younger, I mean, I used to cosplay, so that would take weeks. Oh, yes, yeah, correct tool. That would take weeks. What's that? Um, I did Susaseki from Rods and Maiden, and that took um, pretty much. I started in the spring, and it took all summer because I had I was using velveteen, which is like. It's like a lighter velvet, but it's still really heavy. I was using velveteen for pretty much all of it. And it was this huge uh, Southern Belle style dress, like just this giant dress with all these tears on it and all this black lace and no pattern. So I had to modify a couple of existing patterns. And there was also like a headpiece and a wig and then we had to custom make shoes because <laughs> I was cosplaying with a friend who was um, cosplaying as her sister, So Saseki. So it was like um, Victorian lad shorts in blue velveteen. So not only was it heavy because we did this in August and expensive because it was velveteen. And I remember I'd asked for the velveteen it was like 13 yards of dark green velveteen what that was my christmas present that year it was about 200 bucks just just velveteen and i ruined a, a sewing machine on it because not only is velveteen heavy but it's really prone to dust like fabric dust like bits of fabric clogging up the works so i still have that sewing machine it was a like a 1980s tank of a singer. And I think I could fit, especially with the internet now and YouTube now, I think I could fix it. It's just a matter of doing it. Vernon said, I like the stripe pattern. I was gonna see you've just been finding the leaf strands of different color, just, he said. Uh, no, I've been slowly pulling off a little bit of wool roving and then layering it on and then um, poking it down. 
Studio says, I'm certain I'll puncture myself multiple times if I try this. Yeah, I I have the other, like when we were doing it the first time because I was very distracted. Um, I'm actually kind of migrating right, right now, which in some ways is terrible because, you know, I'm kind of a space case, but it makes it very easy to justify just going slow and hyper focusing. And I'm making a mess on the underside of this case head. I also used to do make kanzashi and sell them. So, you know, before I just completely lost my mind about comics, I had several crafty hustles going. But I had a professor in undergrad, and I don't agree with this advice, tell me that I needed to basically give up on all the other things I was interested in and focus on one thing or I would never get anywhere. And uh, I wish I hadn't listened to that advice because I think having interests, it not only, I mean, it's just so enriching because not only do you meet more people when you have other interests, but you, especially if you're telling stories, you can bring your interests into your comics and use them to make them more realistic and so that they'll resonate with different people. So I wish I hadn't taken his advice, but I was such a weak draft person at the time. <laughs> yeah, it is such bad advice. Well, there were some screwy ideas going around in the um, late 2000 aughts, right? Is that what they're called? The aughts? Yeah. Like before 2010? And this guy was straight out of grad school himself, so I don't know if he was necessarily the best at giving life advice. Considering he was not much old, maybe six years older than us. Okay, after this though, I'm gonna move on to the next step because I'm just kind of making this a furry mess. I did want it to look like Remy. Have you checked out um, Vermis's D&D uh, &D tabletop sculptures that he's been sharing in finished, for, uh, finished art share? No. They're I'm really sure. cool. Oh, they're like, um, they're not 3D sculpts. They're like, well, they're, they're 3D in that they exist in a three-dimensional realm. But they are um, like epoxy or like polymer clay. It's really cool. Yeah, for a brief period. Yeah. Um, I think a better advice would have been like time specific. You know what I mean? Like maybe you should spend six months putting that time into drawing. You know what I mean? But it was basically like if you ever want to get anywhere, you got to give up your hobbies and like. That is actually a common sentiment for people. Okay, I gotta be real careful because I don't want to stab any stab in my hand. That's a really common sentiment for people in comics is there for people my age, there was this like pervasive line of thought that if you weren't willing to sacrifice yourself on the altar of comics, if they weren't your whole world, if you ever complained, if you ever had any problems with it, then you should just quit, which is incredibly toxic okay so i did it a little differently than they did theirs but that's maybe i want to do some flecking on the side i mean now it's like the opposite you know um pursue your interests draw fan art be nerdy about video games 
I wish that advice had been given to me earlier because I did sacrifice so many of my interests. I learned to hide what I was interested in and not talk about it. Not because there's anything wrong with it, but because it might be seen as like I'm slacking off from work. Mm, that workaholic mentality, super healthy. But I've been slowly picking up hobbies again. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can see that. Scad leaned real hard. That was at UNO, but Scad kind of leaned hard into that too, to an extent of give up your hobbies, except they really encouraged us to go drinking with editors. And that's not a great idea either. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad the comic industry, we still got our problems, but like not the same problems to an extent. <laughs> some things are better, some things are worse. How depressing it would be if they were the same problems that like we never learn anything. Oof. In my instance, it wasn't that I wasn't turning stuff in or getting decent grades. It it's that it, it takes right? Yeah, it was just it was that professor because like if it, if it had been, like, um, a professor who I liked a lot more saying that, it probably would have been coming from a place of, like, you need to, like, buckle down and improve these specific things. That professor also romanticized art, didn't they? That professor was not a fan of commercial art at all, even though they worked for, or they did designs for Threadless. Everything had to have this deeper concept, and making art because you want to make something beautiful that makes other people happy was not a good enough reason, which is, yeah, anyway, I'm sure we've all had, I mean, we keep talking about, it. I'm not shutting y'all down. I'm just saying like, I'm not gonna like dig, dig it. Yeah, Ooh, I didn't get those, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't want people to think I'm just like a complainy complainer it was bad advice though and it's when i give advice i actually encourage people to pursue their hobbies but uh maybe a specific amount of time for them because that's the advice i wish i'd been given i mean having hobbies and doing things in those hobbies like going to events or whatever you're going to meet people and I mean, some of those people could be friends. Some of those people could become professional contacts. Like, to to not have interest, you're shutting yourself off to so many things. And it also, by having hobbies that are not, you know, a thing you do for a living, you're going to maybe make friends who can give you good advice because they're, they're, they have an outside perspective. So they're not, they don't have a horse in the show, so they don't, there's no reason for them to tear you down. Irma said, it's an interesting question. For me, art is a hobby and my main hobby. I've made a little bit of money, pocket change, but lost it, and I'd like to make some more. Well, it is definitely a grind like any other vocation um the making things is always even though that is work i'm not gonna like sit here and say that's not um but that's kind of the easy part and for me the hard part then comes with finding an audience for my work and getting it out there and getting people to give me okay this is gonna be hard i gotta do i gotta do like they want Basically, kitty cat eyeliner, and that's going to be tricky. You're gonna put a on it? 
I, man, I don't know. Uh, no, it's just more like... I guess you could just put, like, a strap of some cloth. That's true, a little triangle of cloth. I think, to me, what's most rewarding... I mean, I like the money. Like, don't get me wrong. I like money. Who doesn't like money? Uh, is making art and then people telling me they're excited about it or that it means something to them or that it brought enjoyment into their lives because when I'm drawing or painting, I'm trying to communicate things with people. And it's not deep thoughts necessarily, you know. I mean, I use comics for my more in-depth communication but like for the most part i just want to try and bring people like a moment of peace or a moment of happiness or like a moment of sunshine something like that you know like an escape because for me making art was often an escape okay this is it's it's coming along it's not as cute as theirs but it's coming along it's like an angry cat with eyeliner um But, I mean, I know so many people who have, they they went to school for something else or they have this other line of work, right? And they, they fell in love with making art or making comics and they were able to turn it into a lucrative side hustle at the least, if not a profession. Okay, I kind of regret that because it's kind of sticky outing, but we're going to get there. The trick is making both eyes look kind of similar, like they're on the same cat. You always say you bring, you 100% bring me lots of sunshine, Becca. Oh, I'm so glad. You work so hard, Jill. I think about you a lot. I hope you're doing okay. I don't want to be like a pest and like pester you, but I know how important it is to have people check in on you. So just know that when you... When I haven't seen you around for a while, I do, I hope you're doing okay. I do think about you. You know, Joseph, when, when we have our own place, it'd be kind of nice. I was kind of thinking about this to set up like when I say ASMR corner I don't like mean ASMR in its current sense of like highly polished highly produced but like a cozy corner where like you can hear and see the clock and um there's just like cozy house noises you know what I mean yeah I think that would make for like a really relaxing background for some of these crafts kind of remind oh i see what they did they didn't explain this you got you ideally you want to kind of tuck it under the eye a little bit they didn't explain that they're so tricksy about how much you'd enjoy your hobby if it if it became your job and mm -hmm. how it up against saying things like do something you like mm -mm, mm -mm. knuckle down and find out how erroneous that is it is who you can ask joseph it is super erroneous mm -hmm. if you do what you love for a living and i'm just speaking from my own experience different people have different feelings if you do what you love for a living it will break your heart because it's no longer about you and the thing you love and just, ooh, this cat looks wild. Um, just doing this thing you love, it becomes performative. And to an extent, there's nothing wrong with performative, you know, especially if you like doing things for other people. But then to another extent, it is exhausting because like, let's use, let's use this for an example, okay? Um, Today, I did not promote this stream. I'm so glad y'all came, by the way. But I didn't promote it. I didn't do any prep for it. Nothing like that. I was just like, I feel like working on the cat. And I 
think you guys might like to hang out with me while I work on the cat. Very low key. If everything was like this, it'd be a joy. But every, it's not, you know. Um, everything I do, I have to promote the heck out of it. And then sometimes it just doesn't succeed. So there's a lot. <sighs> there's a lot of putting yourself out there with the possibility of rejection. And um, did, did, what am I saying? I think I'm saying I, there have been so many times where I was, have like gone into the workforce looking for a day job. That's actually one of the reasons I started teaching was it was a way to earn some money and build up a work history. And then I realized I actually really like teaching kids. So now it's something I do for me. But um, being wholly dependent on my art for income was never a healthy thing for me. And it was not ever um, a successful thing for me. So I'm, I'm just telling you that because I feel like in if, if all your friends are artists, you're going to hear it a lot, so you don't need to hear it. But if you work in a more uh, traditional trade, you might hear a lot of like the whole do what you love and you never work a day in your life, which do what you love and you never stop working. Now, how did they do that little knead a handful of pink wool and poke out the nose in the shape of a triangle? So I think, I don't know. <laughs> doing well thanks you're so kind and she said i would never want to do my hobbies for money the pressure of the market yes will quickly kill my joy yes for me i'd much rather work a job and then have my passion built on that yes see when i went into this it was a different market and what i was thinking i would do was I, my goal was to work as a hired hand, a hired art hand at like a studio that does like greeting cards or what uh, wrapping paper or, because I actually do enjoy that kind of work. And for a while I was working for a company that subcontracted to Lego and I loved it. Um, I was working remotely, which is kind of a downside because it would have been cool to get to work in person, you know, just with other artists, but I really liked the work. I liked that I did not have to like come up with the concepts. Uh, I liked, I, I loved Lego as a kid. So, you know, it was like just a super cool thing to be able to work on. Um, and then also I had plenty of time to do conventions if I wanted to do conventions or to do um, my own projects if I wanted to do my own projects. But the market kind of shifted and I didn't keep up with it. I'm going to try something. I think that's always been kind of my, my problem. In some ways, I'm an early adopter of things. And in some ways, I'm the last to figure out how to do it. Oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> this poor cat's face is so <laughs> I mean I don't expect symmetry because I'm just a person and I knew it this but this poor cat oh uh, yeah Bowie's insulted no he wants to P-L-A-Y oh I so I'm not necessarily trying to discourage anybody from exploring what they love as a profession. Uh, one of my friends, Becca Dinoff, is a dice maker and she didn't start out as a dice maker. She, she has tried all kinds of different things. She's quite a crafty person. Um, she has done like nerdy jewelry and she's done like, uh, what's it called? shrinky dink jewelry and she's done uh, metal working and I mean needle working all kinds of stuff but it was the dice she she's the one who did the ducky dice kickstarter um if any of you guys are into like cool handmade collectible dice she's the one who did that and that thing took off it was so cool to see because originally she was doing them herself okay this nose is <laughs> whatever First time needle crafter here. Second time needle crafter here. Okay. 
But this is technically the first real project. Just kind of crunching that to kind of give Kitty here a nose job with these big, like a raccoon. That would have been cute, a raccoon. I thought it kind of looked like an owl. It um, does, does look like an owl. I've been yeah, thinking that. It's like... No, it looked like because of the shape of the face. It's looked like an owl for yeah, a while. Based on the there. Uh, Verma says noted food for thought. Clockwork says I agree with Jill, but I'd also love to make a bit of spare money from art too, not a full-time gig. Yeah. Jill says, quote, do what you love and never stop working, uh, end quote, and then does a laughy cry face. True words. My husband, on the other hand, loves doing software design coding as a hobby, so his early years professionally were super fun for him. Yeah, that's, see, that sounds like Joseph. Um, very, very similar. Uh, Jill says, but now his world has moved away from active coding. Yeah. He's struggling to embrace that. Uh, then she says to Clockwork, that's great. If you can make a gig out of it, go for it. You. Verma said, it's looking at me. Da, da, da. Stare into your soul. This poor cat. Um, clearly, needle needle felting is not like an innate hot uh, skill of mine. That's okay. I don't know. I you also have to keep in mind um, a lot of my years were spent. So I went to school for comics, and um, after I finished school, I did the convention circuit in the U.S for like 10 years and that's it's got its ups it's got its downs it's definitely fun but it's also a lot a lot of work and um I would get a lot of teenagers who wanted to just make art for a living and um you know honestly it's probably more feasible now than it was then because you there's all this affordable like hardware like i like a used ipad doesn't really cost that much and you can do some really great things in procreate um clip studio paints really cheap you can get a used surface book so um, the technology is actually way cheaper now okay tear the pink wool and fold it wind it around the cat's head poke it slightly but firmly a little thickness of the headband works better so i think what they're saying. I mean, basically, I feel like saying, don't take my advice because <laughs> I've been wrong a <laughs> lot. But it's, it's always a your mileage may vary sort of situation because the kind of art you'll make is very different from the kind of art I make. And the kind of art Becca makes and I was using her as my example, is very different. So it really depends on, and plus you've been working, so might be cheering for you and want to see you succeed. And that helps a lot. It's like a, oh my God, <laughs> I can see for her. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. And I like the dark rings around the eyes as it makes them easier to see. That's true. They would get lost. They're golden eyes, so they would get lost. My my cat has seen some stuff <laughs> compared to their cute cat who's like a babe in the woods, has never, never left home. My cat has has seen so many things. Has been stabbed with my needle so many times. What am I going to do with all, like, they don't know how to resolve this mess at the back of the head. I think my goal is just to try and get, oh no. <laughs> Come here, you. Okay. 
I am so glad that I am not over here like, I'm going to make money selling needle felted puppets. Because I don't know. I don't know how well I would do. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hmm. I'm laughing the laugh of someone who knows she's, <laughs> she's created a problem that she doesn't know how to fix. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. That that could maybe do it. That could be good. Maybe. Back of the head is going to be such a mess. I think basically my goal is not to discourage anybody from giving it a try and certainly not like starting it as a hobby and then seeing where that takes you. Um, making money off of your, the labor of your hands. Oh dear. not not trying to be bitter either like I hope I'm not coming across as bitter and I'm certainly not saying like I couldn't do it so you can't either because a I'm still moderately young my life isn't over yet your life isn't over yet people have second and third act new life experiences so I'm certainly not trying to say that Okay. All right. That's something. Sure is a something. Something there. Okay. Then they want me to tear. Oh no. I mean, okay. I can, I'll do it. I'm not complaining. I'll do it. I'm just, how, how do they make it look so cute? Pra that's practice. How's the angle? Oh, it's still okay. Uh, Me or him? Uh, he just won't let go of the bird. He probably has some frustration. There we go. All right. Like. Like, let's use the craftsman as an example, right? He has to be older than me because he's got a son who at least an older teen. And I don't think he's been doing crafts on YouTube his whole life because that sure wasn't a thing. But he does a dang good job of it and his videos are quite enjoyable. So, you know, we're always trying new things, learning new things, open to new experiences and who knows what will come from that for me that's one of the reasons it's been kind of frustrating oh oh my poor cat <laughs> oh sorry this cat's not as advertised good thing i'm not making this for somebody because i feel kind of sad Like, it's supposed to be all cute and mottled. She just looks like a fungus. Mushroom cat. What would your mushroom cat's name be? Oh, she kind of looks like a little babushka. So, um, I don't know.
We'll say, if you've got some latent aggression and you need a positive way to work on it, needle felting, a lot of stabity stab. Yes, I am gentle stabbing, coaxing life into this little woolen doll. Like saying if you need to work out some anger, you should go and perform surgery. Hmm. 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 Don't do that. That's, that's not. Is that involved? Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well I'm trying not to make fun of it too much because I know this is the best I can do right now because I've never I've never done this before so and I also don't want to discourage anybody from trying something new and it might not turn out perfect that's another thing I've noticed because I do teach a lot of younger people is that some of them really struggle with it doesn't look as good as the tutorial it doesn't look as good as what i see online and then they kind of give up because they think it should look perfect the first time it, i think it's supposed to be like a little berry hat but it looks like a like a fungus <laughs> You are giving me credit that I don't deserve it. I'm following this and not understand. There's, there's something. It's yes, it, there's a lot missing in the translation explaining techniques. And some things I was able to, to grasp kind of quickly. And then some things I never grasped. I appreciate that. I tend to be, <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, overly critical of myself in a way that I would not be of anyone else. So I'm trying to work on that and trying. See, that's another thing that killed hobbies for me is I became overcritical of things. And uh, that kind of stops you from pursuing anything new because there's going to be a period where you're just bad at it like if you're learning a musical instrument there's going to be a period where you sound awful because you're developing um i'm going to try building up the little center thing over here and then transplanting it we'll see how that goes there's going to be a, a period of time where you're building up muscle memory and learning just skills will i be able to tear this off yes i will And I think some of that is uh, certain areas of the internet, and I hesitate to tell you guys this because I think we're in similar age brackets. Certain areas of the internet think if you're older than 21, you're basically dead, which is like, wow. That's like dark ages life, expense, expense, life expectancy there, huh? So you gotta get good at things fast. Oh, oh, it is actually kind of looking like a leaf now. All right. Okay, I'm going to do it different because I'm a brat. I'm going to make it have a little stem. I wanted to have a little stem. It's supposed, I think this, I like the effect they can get on this where it looks like it's modeled like tie dye. I just, they didn't explain how to do it. So, I, I, I did not learn that technique. I would like to, because it seems like you could do, like, cool, like, if you did, like, a doll, right? Or, like, a, a maquette or whatever, you know what I mean, for, like, a stop animation or something. And you wanted to do a design on its clothing, you could use that technique to do a design on its clothing, but they didn't explain it. My cheap kit from Amazon didn't explain. What's down? But 
Bowie says, play more. Oh man. Tell you guys one thing. I've been having all these migraines lately because the weather's been changing a lot and I definitely look forward to seeing a doctor in April and talking to a neurologist probably after April. Aw, oh, that yeah. Me? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, that makes... You gotta go back to the Chumbawamba and get this thing. <laughs> so I was like, okay, go to sleep. Uh, yeah, but now I'm intrigued. I know what a, a Chumbawamba is a band from the 90s, and they get knocked down, but they get up again. It was some, oh. I, I don't remember the exact thing. It was some, like, uh... Fake feature, Australian thing? from media. Uh, it probably came about because you were watching Sesame Street. I was, wa I was, well, I wasn't just watching any Sesame Street. I was watching some of the animations from when I was a kid and, like, kind of looking for inspiration. Because I've been doing a little bit of stop, a very li limited amount of stop motion in some of my videos lately. And that's because I grew up loving Sesame Street. In fact, I made Joseph come into the room so he could, what was it called? Doo-wop, doo-wop, hop? Frog, yeah. <laughs> the American edit for that was... This poor cat! Oh, I've done you wrong. Interesting, to say the least. Okay. <laughs> Not perfect. But that's all right. See, the other thing with me, though, is that, um, and this is more, I think this is more of an ADHD thing than anything. I ha also have a tendency, or I used to have a tendency to just kind of like blast through instructions. And uh, the end result would not look very good. So it's always a challenge for me with something I'm not used to to know what's the difference between I legitimately tried my best and this is just as good as it's gonna get for right now cause I'm new and how much of it is I kind of phoned it in. And, and to this day, you still don't know why you don't know how to draw manga. What? I know it's a joke, but I don't get. You say those books are terrible. Some of them are pretty good, actually. Some of the some of the official how to draw manga books from Japan are actually pretty good. Yeah, I still own the some of them. Any of the random how to draw manga books that you'll find currently on. Oh the sure. Oh you, okay. Yeah yeah. Yeah, no yeah I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, they skip like all the steps because whoever whoever did step one is not the same person who did the final image. They want me to do a stem, and I think the stem is very cute. So I twisted my wool roving to try and get a stem. Uh, well, like I say, I can't imagine how that much of loose felt is held together. I'm way, much stabbing. I'm way impressed that anyone can mold it like that. Magically. Much stabbing. Truly the glue that holds everything together. On this note, we were going to do wood burning, but the weather got so nasty cold that we can't do it outside for right now. I have not forgotten though. In fact, I ordered some silicone fingertips so that we could um, change the, sorry, 
change the tips on the thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I was pretty excited about wood burning because I had done all these designs on the wood. And I wanted to at least give it a try. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. I drew designs on the wood. Oh my goodness. It does not. This is where I might stab myself by accident. So. You know, the reason why you have to wear all that mask stuff is probably because you're using treated. Yes. If you use the wood that's Chris sent us, you wouldn't need all that. Well, if. Okay, sorry. If you could, if we could get them cut down yeah, into squares, yeah. then I can, I would be more, it's such a, it's a, he sent a beautiful piece of black walnut with, um, yeah, nice, burl nice exactly, yeah, I don't want to, um, waste, you know, I'm the one who tells people, don't think of it as wasting, you're learning, and here I, but I, I have, yeah, like, like, cheaper wood taking, that I can use. Taking, give, giving a copic to, like, uh, three-year-old or whatever. Oh dear, right in the mouth. All right, that, I think that is as good as I was gonna get, <laughs> poor cat. Oh, and now they want me to make little ears. Tear the wood, wool, tear the wool and fold it into triangles. I could maybe do that. That's, that's within my, the realm of my abilities, maybe. I bought this kit, so I'm not blaming anyone but me and my big ideas thinking I would make a kawaii little cat. This is on me. You bringing the baby in? Yeah. I'm gonna miss me your kawaii little cat. Hey, Bowie, do you recognize yourself in this? He's like, ah, uh -huh. no. Scary. Scary time. I think these are meant to be like like purse charms or backpack charms. And I don't understand it because they are not sturdy. So is it just the head? No, I have to do a full body. The head is just taking me a really long time. Whatever you're saying, you would have to tell stream too. You might not have a finished cat. Yeah, well. Other than the gray one. The gray one. He's still half baked. Um, I'll keep working on it anyway. I mean, with those stupid bowls, I had to like work on them a little every day. But that was because of dry time. Like, I couldn't just sit down and knock them out. Might go faster if you use this to melt. A screw? You're being silly. It's got a bunch of little serrations. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Like this? Oh, it does. oh, too close. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Still headachy. He didn't actually shove it in my face. It's more like after I've had a migraine, I just have trouble with my eyes sometimes. It, it, close enough. I'll take it. I'll Chelsea take it. It's so cute. Clockwork says, Kitty be like, there can be only one. Kitty be like, that cat doesn't blink. It's an imposter. I don't think he, he's so lonely. I don't think <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't tried to eat it because he loves, like, Joseph had an, has an alpaca that I bought for him made from alpaca wood, wool. And he's tried to groom her. Okay. He carried that little rabbit He did. His baby. Months. He skinned a toy mouse and uh, groomed it and brought And yet, when I bought him a big old rabbit pelt, he didn't want it. He is kind of lonely, though.
one ear. Maybe I'll just make her a one-eared cat. No, it's actually kind of fun. It is fun, I should say. Not kind of fun. It is fun. I'm trying to have better habits because I don't want the kids I teach bad habits. You know that y'all know what I mean. And like a lot of us use self depreciating humor to collect. But I don't want them putting down their own art. Put down other people's art. <laughs> well, that's what art critics are for. All right, it happened. I'm okay. Did you draw blood? No. It, like, was just enough for my hand to be like, hey, no. And it's because I got cocky. I flew too close to the sun. Started stabbity stabbing with wild abandon. Stab myself. So I think I'm going to do finish up the head and then call it a day. And then next time I don't know what to chill stream, we'll work on the body. This is nice, though. It's got a different vibe than, you know, <laughs> having my family circus. <laughs> Who I appreciate them giving their time and helping me out. But there are a lot. I'm a lot, I mean, I, I come by it naturally, I'm a lot too. Okay, they talk about doing the white, but I think we should do the yellow or one of the pinks on the inside of the ears. I'm going to do yellow stripes on the ears because, because I can do stripes. Stripes is the thing I'm good at. If you need stripes, you call me. Normally during the streams, I try to like also talk about like good media and stuff. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, I've been watching like a ridiculous amount of Poirot, which is like a detective show from the 90s. Huh? Crag of the Creek. Okay. All right. We have a recommendation for folks who like mysteries, Poirot. And I have a recommendation for folks who like cartoons or family friendly viewing that isn't stupid uh craig of the creek is a really cute show on cartoon network this might be too too thin let me see I if i can go i not wanting him there and he needs to get up early all right have a good night get some sleep That's not going to work. It's so thin. That's why. Very gentle. I don't want to poke myself. Oh, we also finished playing Return of the Obra Den, which is a, it's a Switch game, but I think it's on other stuff too. We played it on Switch. Uh, ah, and uh, it's, trying to emulate old DOS games or old Apple games. Um, and it, any way I describe it is going to sound boring. So please actually, please, Joseph, drop a trailer or whatever sold you on it. Drop that in the chat. And uh, I'll attempt to not kill it. Okay, so it's by the same person who created Papers, Please. It's a one-person project. 
other than the voice actors. Um, it is set on a ship and you're an insurance adjuster trying to figure out what happened on this mysterious ship that's returned completely devoid of crew and passengers after being missing for several years. And it is a wild ride. And I think I said, oh my God, those poor people at least a hundred times when we were playing. I I like mysteries, but I'm not good at solving them. But we were able to, with only a little guesswork, we had to guess a couple times, but I don't think there's anything wrong with a little bit of guessing. We were able to solve the mystery of the Oberden. So I really recommend it. It was a cool game. It did make me a little motion sick because Joseph was playing, but I am also very, very prone to getting motion sickness when watching other people play video games. So if that's not normally something that you struggle with, I don't think you're going to have a problem. I mean, it's, it, it got to the point with Animal Crossing New Horizons, I would get a little motion sick if we were playing it on the TV. So that should give you an idea of Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's do some. Let's attempt some pink. They gave you enough. That's for sure. Uh, oh, cool. Hey, Kenna. I hope you're feeling okay. I say that because the weather. We both get migraines from the weather, so. And we've been playing Mario Maker, what is it, Mario Maker 2. Super Mario Maker 2. And we have much speculation as to what Mario time actually means. So, leave your comments. What is Mario time? What does Mario time mean to you? other I don't want to say it's a complaint and it's not really about the kit it's just like a, a something peccadillo I don't know is I like my work in general is kind of clean like I like clean sort of bubbly art and I am not able to get clean delineations with this and I think that is bugging me. <laughs> when you gotta what? Do the actual work. Yeah. The work you were hired to do. He's a plumber. It's Mario time. Go back. Yeah, go plumb. Well, you, do you think Peach actually pays him? Give me a break. Peach couldn't... Coins. Dude, he, Peach couldn't even be bothered to come look at the castle he built for her. Have you noticed that? Uh, says, so wait, have I noticed what? That, that Peach never came to look at her castle. Did she? Am I miss... Uh, did I fall asleep? I don't recall her. Coming. We worked so hard to earn all that money to build her another castle because a dog ruined the first and she couldn't even come look at it. Um, said, Rose said she tried what you're doing. I guess Neil's helping and can't do it. She stabs herself. I've, I am being pretty careful and I have stabbed myself a couple of times. And the first time I did it, I stabbed myself a lot. They, says, Mario time is when you need to wax your mustache. <laughs> That's, <laughs> I can see that. He does have a pretty, pretty fine mustache. This kit came with these little like leather glovettes, but they're so bulky for doing fine stuff like this. I can't, 
like get in there and do it, you know? So I think they would help with the stabbing, but I'm not going to use them. Oh, easy is they're so messy. What do you think Mario time is, Joseph? Not the answer you gave me the other night. He reads. Okay, I could see that. I think Mario time is when he and Luigi play video games together. No, absolutely not. Oh man, I need three hands for this. I think I could use um, some of the needles in the kit just to hold it in place while I needle it. No, he's playing like, like there's a, a pretty popular meme that Isabel from Animal Crossing plays Doom in her off time to the point where I think there's even some official art of her doing it. Maybe he plays Animal Crossing. It's just somebody else's problems. The instructions did not tell me to do this by the, oh dear. This looks more and more like a raccoon and less and less like a cat. And I mean, I would be okay with that because I love raccoons. Come on. grumpy um you yeah, he's a little grumpster uh i think because we haven't wanted to take him outside but other than that he doesn't seem to care he slept in the bedroom last night but he didn't want to sleep under the covers i don't know oh hey 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 send link billy the cat i know joseph says i'm obsessed cats will love it though I, just I. B I L L I. It's so cute. This. Link it in the channel. It's pretty, pretty family friendly. Um, this lady has taught her cat how to communicate using recordable buttons. And uh, I have purchased a set of four of those buttons for Bowie. I think if we'd started with him as a kitten with it, he would be, we could get a bunch of words, but um, he knows outside and he knows like T-R-E-A-T -E and stuff like that. So I'm kind of hoping we can get him to do those. Oh, I'm like off camera, sorry. Anyway, just because I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. And if I've had like a bad day, I like watching this woman and her cat have like a genuine interaction. And uh, she's also not like, like the recording quality is terrible, right? It's mostly vertical. Like to me, it's not like she's making all this money off her cat. It's more about like recording sharing these moments she's had with her cat and also encouraging other people to try it at home. Oh, hey! Okay, it looks like a red panda, but that's not a bad thing. Animals, like never a cat. It's never looked like a cat, but it does look like a... Look! It does look like a red panda, though. It kind of looks like a cat. If I could have gotten those ears pointier, it would have looked more like a cat. I'm okay with that. I love Tanuki. I like foxes, too. There aren't many animals I don't like. 
I was like squealing last night about how cute bats are. But I like bats the same way I like raccoons. Like if I was at a zoo and they were letting people pet those animals, I would be in law. I would fight a six year old to pet a bat or a raccoon. But like, am I gonna like go pet a wild one? No, because the chances of rabies are too high. I would pet a squirrel though. Yes, I would pet a wild squirrel. I mean, I would pet a pet squirrel too. Like a well? Oh, for sure. Like a no, or like a part wild squirrel. Like clearly a squirrel that knows about humans and isn't afraid of humans. But if I could Snow White a squirrel and sing to it and it come up to me and let me pet it, that would also be pretty excellent. Did I ever tell you that was one of my life goals as a child and I would practice singing in hopes that animals would come to me? Sometimes they'd come look, but... You're holding out food while you're singing, and you know where... Uh, I tried that as a teenager. And I may or may not have sung a little bit to some of those wild cats on UNO campus while feeding them. I don't know. Jill says that she sees a cat. And that it is cute. So it's like second guessing yourself. It is pretty cute. Yeah, cute. Once the ears got on, it helped a lot. I think it looks like a cat to me. Okay. I do too. Thank you guys. All right. So I am going to call it an evening because what's next is the body. And that's like, this is a good stopping point. I'll readjust the camera. Give me a sec. It's me. It's Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras time. So I know this is like every 10 year old knows this, but sometimes we forget as we get older that it's fun to try new things and it's fun to fail. And it's fun to fail with you guys because instead of me just sitting here and like getting frustrated and angry, it becomes, it, it can become a joke, but not in a negative way, but just like, oh, haha, ha, it's a tanuki now. So um, thank you guys for joining me. I'm trying to get both and it's hard joining me and uh, helping me kind of keep healthy perspective on it because it's just a hobby it's not i'm not gonna sell it it's not the end of the world i don't plan on it's fun but i don't think i'd ever get good enough at it to like have an etsy shop with it you know and that's okay because frankly i need more hobbies in my life that i'm not gonna monetize Now, that is so cute. <laughs> yeah, doesn't look like you know. The thing is, also, I've always had a bad problem with this. I think I've mentioned this in some of the other reviews. I have a problem where I will look at the the and example and think it has to look like that, or it's not any good. Um, and I think it does look. It looks like Remy, which makes me happy because I miss my girl. So. Plus, I've also learned a lot. Like, I couldn't needle felt before this, but not just that. I've also learned, like, how to do stripes. I've learned how to do the little the little stem. I learned how to do the ears. So, I mean, I bought, like, two kits, and one of the other kits has four of these. So I'm going to be real good by the time I get through that one. Everyone's going to get weird little needle felted animals for Christmas. As keychains? I don't think they'd hold up as keychains. I should stuff them with catnip and just be like, go wild. Except this cat, the eyes were glued in. But if it was just needle felting, I mean. Just put catnip behind the eyes so the, the cat chews at the eyes. I don't want a cat chewing at the eyes because they're little plastic bits. Yeah. And I don't want a cat to. It'd be very funny though. And <laughs> Oh man. So I also have to make a super cute but tiny strawberry with teeny tiny little white dots because that's gonna happen and a little pink tail and i think it's also whole oh no okay it's got little beans which are so cute and it's not gonna it's not gonna happen but that 
process. Did you reconsider beignets? Um, I don't want beignets for dinner. No, not for dinner. I bought salad. Well, first of all, I don't even know if they're open. We don't. But and secondly, I don't necessarily want beignets tonight. Okay, fair enough. I, I was thinking beignets because it's Mardi Gras, and I don't I necessarily... Huh? I had cake yesterday. True. Well, if y'all, if any of y'all are in Louisiana, go have some beignets for me if you can. And, um, I'm still keeping, oh, hey, I need to wear my glasses. I can't read. Um, keeping Texas and my Texan friends in my thoughts and in my prayers because they are having a hard night tonight. And, um, I hope that the politicians and people in charge who are currently regulating how the power is being distributed, I hope they can better accommodate more people. And if you're not in Texas, I still hope you guys are able to stay safe and warm and happy, particularly during this slightly unseasonable cold snap because it is February. Um, in Louisiana, it's going to be, what, 70 this weekend? Uh, yeah, roughly. So y'all are welcome to come move down here. Once COVID is over, I'll throw a big party. You can all come over and hang out. Can you show that cat head? Of course. Shadow wants to see Yeah. It. I can see into your soul. And next time I do a stream where we're not doing like a specific craft kit, I'm going to try to get the body done. And you know, if I just do it little bit by little bit, it'll get finished. Shadow says that's cute. Thank you. He also said I want to come. <laughs> well, move to Louisiana. Have a big barbecue or something. Okay, I need to mark where I left off so that I'm not like struggling to find it next time. And get everything back in the box because I don't know about y'all, but once stuff starts moving and migrating and walking, uh, I'm never gonna find it, so. I have to be like that nitpicky person who's like, it all has to go in the box. But once I finish doing these, I got to get a craft box and just put them in that. And I'm actually feeling better. I, was, I wasn't like straight out headachey. I was just like, I've never before had uh, migraine auras before, but I've started having them since we moved back, which kind of makes me wonder if maybe there's something else going on. But I have a doctor's appointment in April. That's as soon as she can see me. So definitely going to bring it up and see if they can do something for me. Because anybody who has migraines will agree. They're not. If you don't have to have them, don't do it. So... Hopefully I can get that straightened out and that'll increase my quality of life. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a warm and happy rest of your evening. Happy Mardi Gras to y'all. Uh, I'm going to finish cleaning up my little cat fluffs and I'll see you guys again soon. So happy Mardi Gras guys. Bye.